What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert, and today I wanted to go over something that I think is pretty important for anyone who's collaborating with either other artists or other studios. And I think this is a really good real world example of how to make that collaborative process a little bit easier. So I've got a track here, and it's something that I'm working on. Um, we've got a little bit more tracking to work on here, but it's an album that I'm producing, recording, and mixing. And what's happening here is they're actually going to shoot a music video for this song. And what they want to do is they want to redo some of the footwork. So it's going to another studio and I need to make this session into a Pro Tools session. And what I want to do is I want to give them a little bit of flexibility in terms of stems and what music they're working with. But one of the things that I want to avoid is having to have them redo all the different arrangement sections and the markers. And if there was any tempo changes or time signature changes, that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on two specific elements and I'm probably going to break this up into two videos. But for the first one, we're going to focus on getting a MIDI tempo map from our studio one session over to Pro Tools. All right. So we'll have a really quick listen here. This is just uh, kind of like a flamenco jazz type uh, record here. We've got some basic sounding instrumentation here. Now I'll give you a quick play. Okay, so this is kind of a work in progress mix. And what we're gonna be doing here is they're gonna be redoing the actual footwork. Because in flamenco, footwork is actually a percussive element that happens live with the performance. So this is actually gonna be in the audio. So like I said, to make things easy, we're gonna export a basic two mix for now. And I'm gonna do some stems later in another video, but for now we'll get a two mix out. And the biggest thing that I wanna focus on here is getting this tempo map information out. And we can do that through using MIDI in Studio One, but we have to handle this a certain type of way. So here's the way that I like to do it. I'll just pull up an instance of Easy Drummer here. We'll go ahead and we'll open this up. And we can just drag in any loop over here. So I've got one that I've already dragged in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this onto my timeline in Studio One. So we've got this, we'll make sure that's snapped to bar three. I start everything from bar three. We'll go ahead and close this. I'll take snapping off and I'm just gonna start duplicating this out. And what I like to do is I like to do this the entire length of the track. So we'll take this one here and duplicate that out a couple more times. All right, and I'm just gonna hop to the very end here. We'll split this, we'll get rid of that. So now this is the exact length. Now I'm gonna select everything here. We'll go ahead and turn this into a contiguous note event. So now it's not important what instrument you're using here. And you could even do this with a piano track. And I haven't done any detailed testing as to whether you could just go ahead and do one note. But what I like to do is I like to have MIDI information that spreads across the entire track. Now from here, here's the key. When you want to export a tempo map for another DAW, what you need to do is you need to go to file and then you want to save as, and we're actually going to save as MIDI. So what I'm going to do here is instead of Studio One song, now we've got a couple different choices. We have a .midi or .mid. For Pro Tools, it uses a .mid, but for some other DAWs, I'm pretty sure you can get away with both. But we'll go ahead and choose this. It's going to have the exact same name as a track, unless you give it a different track. But what we could call this is we could call this uh, Tempo Guide, and then we could just say the session name, which is over here. Make sure I'm spelling that right. And then we want to make sure that it's in the proper folder. So I'm just going to put it in mix sessions. And where are we here? We can use actually, you know, we'll just put it in mix sessions and I'll grab that after. So that's going to be just there. I'm going to export that. We're going to click yes. Okay, so now it's exported this song as MIDI and it's grabbed this file over here. So now what we want to do is we're going to hop over to Pro Tools. And now I've got a Pro Tools session that's been created over here. And what I can do is I can go to File, and then I can go to Import, and I'm gonna import MIDI. Now we're gonna to scroll to that same folder over there. So we're gonna to go to Studio One Sessions, Mix Sessions. We're gonna grab this, we're gonna click Open, and then we're gonna choose, we wanna import the tempo map from the MIDI file and import the key signature from the MIDI file. We'll go ahead and do that. Now you can see we have this file here it starts at bar three, but now we have all of the markers from our original session over here. And in addition to that, we have any tempo information. If there was changes in the Studio One session, we'd have that as well. 
So at this point, we actually don't need this anymore. So at this point, I can just hide and make an active. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop back over to Studio One. And what I'm gonna do for this case is I wanna mute the footwork in here. I'm gonna open up my console. I'm gonna give my, my mix bus processing, I'm gonna give that to the engineer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my master limiter. And one thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab a mix tool. And I'm gonna give them a little bit of headroom. So I'm gonna take this, not sure where this is peaking at the moment, probably somewhere around minus six, but let's pull it down, let's say another four dB. And let's see where this is peaking. Okay, that should be plenty of headroom there. Maybe we'll hop over to something here. Okay, that's gonna be good enough. All right, so now what I wanna do is I'm just gonna export that basic two mix of this song and we're gonna just mute the footwork that we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export the loop range. I've already got the loop range set to the exact length that I need it to. So now we're just gonna export this over here. And then I can leave this name the same. I'm gonna choose a WAV file, this particular case, it's 24 bit. We are in 96K, we want between the loop, right tempo, not gonna import this to track. And now I just, I know the location this is gonna go. So we'll just go ahead and click okay. And I'm just gonna let this run through and I'll catch up with you when this is exported. Okay, so the exporting is all done here now from Studio One. I'm just gonna take this finder window, we'll move it out of the way for a second. We're gonna hop back over into Pro Tools. Okay, so we've got this file over here and I'm just gonna import that audio over here. Bring up my finder window and we'll just drag this file into here. And I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna copy this into the session. We'll go ahead and click done. Audio files, it's processing the audio. And we'll say new track. And then I can just take this, move over to the marker and spot this to that position. So now we've got a two mix and we also have our marker tracks. So the idea here is I'm going to send over this Pro Tools session. Now what most likely will happen is they're already going to have their own Pro Tools session. So they're going to import this audio file and my tempo map, and they're going to be able to record any additional tracks that they need to. And we'll just do a quick test here to make sure that all of our markers and tempo information makes sense here. So I can see it's carried over the 6-4 and we've got all our different markers. So let's just hop to some different sections here. So anyways, that's exporting tempo map from Studio One using a node event so that you can import it into another DAW, create a tempo map and bring in your guide track to do some additional overdubs or recording at another studio not running Studio One. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.